now i'm going to discuss about array properties like length property of array and rank property of array okay right length property and rank property length property is represent length property is represent size of the array length property is represent size of the array rank property is represent rank property is represent dimensions present in array dimensions present in array okay length is used to represent size of the array and rank is used to represent dimensions present in array that means how many dimensions are present in this array or single dimension or two dimension like that using length property we can find out the size and using rank property we can find out what type of dimension array it is okay let us consider here array name is a and array is like this array name is a this is array this is the array elements okay if i am going to do this a dot length a dot length means so a dot length is represent length is represent size of the array then how much size is 4 number of elements are 4 so length a dot length means 4 then same thing if I am doing that a dot rank a dot rank so rank of single dimensional array is always 1 why because either it will only one dimensional that means either it is row or column so that's what a dot rank is written 1 always okay so length of single dimensional array is size of the array and rank of single dimensional array is 1 so let us consider one more array name that is b now here i am taking two dimensional array two dimensional array here the values are there in two dimensional array right so this is two dimensional array and array name is b if i am going to give that b dot length b dot length so b dot length b is array name that is two dimensional array how it will be find out length in two dimensional array means number of rows number of rows into number of columns number of rows into number of column here how many rows and columns here three by three array here it is so three rows and three columns are there so number of rows are three and number of rows are number of columns are three then that is nine length of two dimensional array is number of rows into number of column here three into three that is nine if i am finding like this b dot rank b dot rank so rank is used to represent dimensions in present in array but how many dimensions are present in this array two dimensional that is rows is one dimensional and column is another dimensional so b dot rank is two always two dimensional array rank is two and length is number of rows into number of column let us consider one more array like c array name is c but here i am taking now this time jagged array i am taking you know jagged array means an array which contain one more array within it or else array of array is called jagged array here i am taking in jagged array few of the elements different elements i am taking now you can see this this is jagged array you can consider 0 1 and 2 I'm doing like this c dot length length of jagged array is what so length of jagged array is number of rows how many rows are present in this jagged array that is only length so here 0 1 2 there are three rows are there so that's what c dot length is number of rows number of rows that is three rows and if i am going to do that c dot rank here so always one okay rank of jagged array is always one why because it is 
outside of array only it will be treated so that's what rank is one inside there are so many arrays are there like that here single dimensional array is there so that's what rank is here jagged array rank is one okay so here length of single dimensional array is size of the array and rank of single dimensional array is only one okay length of two dimensional array is number of rows into number of columns and rank of two dimensional array is two then length of jagged array is number of rows and rank of jagged array is one okay right so if you want to find out length and rank properties length and rank of the arrays then we use to add two statements here so what are the two statement here i'm going to write two statement you can see here just if you want to find out any array length and rank so as usual we'll write this statement console dot write line then we have to write length is or length of array for example array name is a then dot length if you have to give then same thing you can see this console dot write line then if i'm going to find out rank that is rank is plus a dot rank these two simple statements if we add to that program then you can able to find out easily any array length and rank okay let me see this practical implementation how it will be possible already we have created three arrays like single dimensional and two dimensional and jagged array let's see the practical implementation line okay let's go to single dimensional array click on single dimensional array here then already we have created single dimensional array we have display the elements also then at the end of that uh, here i am going to add two statements console dot right line console dot right line here i am finding length is length is what is the array name a is array name then length is a property here right next i am going to talk about here console dot right line console dot right line rank is rank is plus a dot what rank here so just i'm adding two statements to finding length and rank length and rank so you can see this let me execute this two dimensional single dimensional array let's go to change the startup object so you know that how to change the startup object in console application click on properties and click on startup object expand it and sd array we have to select then click on save and run it here execute so you can see this elements of array are 10 20 30 and length is displaying what here 4 is length here okay 4 is length and after that rank is display here 1 so single dimensional array length is 4 that is size of the array and rank is what 1 only one dimensional it is there now same thing let me find out in two dimensional array also for two dimensional array also if you want to find length and rank you can take these two statements as it is and let's go to the two dimensional array 2d array now you can see at the end of that program i'm going to add these two statements now if you want to display line by line you can give that slash n it is escape sequence let's run that let's change the startup object two dimensional array 2d array here then click on save and run you can see this two dimensional array length is nine nine means here how many number of rows and how many number of columns there are three rows and three columns that's what it is showing three by three nine it is displaying and rank is what here one oh, sorry two so two dimensional is a two dimensional array it is number of rows and number of columns are uh, more here so that's what it is two dimensional array so rows is one dimensional and columns is another dimensional here right so let's see this same thing here in jagged array let's go to jagged array right jagged array let's add the statements here two statements i'm adding here with jagged array now this is so console dot right line length is a dot length and a dot rank let me take changing the startup object then that is jagged array here jagged array i'm changing startup object and click on start and click on run now you can see length is three jagged array length is number of rows number of rows how many number of rows are there here three rows are there so that's what jagged array length is three 
and rank is always 1 rank is always 1 jagadare rank is 1 and number of dimensions are only one it is outside it is looking okay right so this is the way to find out length and rank of any array jagged array or two dimensional array or single dimensional array right this is okay so let's talk about now array object uh, methods and array class method so here array object is having method and array class is having methods let's talk about these two uh, methods array object methods i'm going to talk so you know that uh, when we create any array with any name in c sharp.net especially in arrays that will be treated as object so here array object is having a method called copy to method so that copy to method is used to copy the elements from one array to another array let's see this let me create first two arrays a and b a array elements are like this just I'm taking few elements in A these are the A elements array A elements how many elements are there in A five elements are there and B elements I'm taking B elements Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. These are array B elements. Total eight elements are there in B, and total five elements are there in A. So now I would like to copy the elements from A to B. Okay, I would like to copy the elements from A to B. So first I will show that how to copy the elements from one array to another using copy to method but copy to method is associated with an array object not array class strictly remember when we create any array with any name like a or b or c these all are array names these array names are treated as what object we can call but whenever i type here a or r a y array it is a class array is a class and array name is an object okay right first i am going to talk about a copy to method this copy to method is used to copy the elements from one array to another array here but this copy to method is associated with array object here okay first let me give the syntax here syntax of copy to method so first we have to give here source array name source array name dot copy to method destination array name destination array name destination array name comma int index int index so that means for example here i am taking source array name is a from a i want to copy the elements a elements i want to copy then we use a method called copy to method then this is what array object a is array object a dot copy to destination array where you want to copy into b so b have taken destination array so you can see this b array is having different indexes 0 1 2 3 like that okay so what index onwards would you like to copy that you can choose like that okay for example i am choosing that second index onwards so integer format it is int index okay right so we have decided the copy the elements from where a to b in b all a elements will be starts to copy from which index second index onwards so here onwards second index onwards a all b all a elements will come and store here you can see right one two three four five one two three four five five elements will be stored here so the output is look like you can see this 50 will be same after elements into b it will be same and 10 will be same but in place of 60 what will come 10 will come again in place of 20 20 will come in place of 70 40 will come in place of 30 60 will come and in place of 80 50 will be there but remaining 40 will be there this is what b elements as it is it will display now you can see this 
this is the output after copying the elements so what elements we have copied here from here onwards these all elements will be copied these all elements 10 20 40 60 50 these elements are coming from a array and that will be display in b here okay so here copying the elements from one array to another array so it is very simple syntax copy to method but copy to method is an array object method so that is array object means what a array name it is an array object dot copy to b into b i want to copy then from each index onwards second index onwards here onwards it will be copy okay so let's see the practical implementation this how it will be copy the elements from one array to another array let's look into that programmatic